Good morning, everybody. Croissants here to say welcome to all creatures farm and rescue. It's raining. I'm the only one with a rain jacket. They obviously don't care and it's hot. It's Missouri hot and humid and we're starting out on the morning chores. Finn, give us an update on how Croissant's doing. So he's doing good. He doesn't have to sleep at the kennel anymore because we are just going to lay down by a tree for the whole night. So he's eating good and he's getting way bigger. He is getting bigger. Look at that. Bigger and stronger. And fatter. <laughs> and fatter. So I think he might have like a bug bite or something. Like on Let's his see. Cheek. Let me see. <laughs> oh yeah. It almost looks like the fur just got scraped off a bit. You think? I think so, from itching it maybe. From scratching it. Oh, look who came to visit. Well, hi guys. Hey. That's the purring one. Who's that, Chaco? Yeah. And there's the mellow one, Olaf. Olaf. Don't like the rain too much? Isn't Olaf cute? He has a neat look. He's still the quiet, reserved one though. Hi, Olaf. Hey, buddy. Finn, does he drain that whole bottle now? Um, sometimes he'll eat like to there, but usually he'll eat a whole bottle. And then he can barely move because he's so fat. Because he's so fat. <laughs> I noticed he is starting to fill out here if you look at him from above. <laughs> look at that belly. Oh, look. Oh, look, wants a drink. Oh. Do that again, Finn. She's cute. <laughs> oh, Chaco's jealous, Finn. They like that one. Hey, Chaco. They don't want your bottle, Droopy. Only mine. Okay. Multitasking. Oh, my. Oh, my. She's gonna they chew the nipple it. right off of that bottle. Yeah. <laughs> they love it for some reason. We don't know why. That's funny. Because <laughs> they're pigs. I think they like yeah, anything. They like anything. That's hey, funny. You're sitting. Good pig. Oh, yeah, she is sitting. Hey. Nellie's doing better on sit. I don't She's know. catching I don't on. Do You're my tune, not you. All right, let's go. I'll follow you guys. Look at croissants in the food coma. <laughs> Doesn't want to move too fast now. <laughs> so full. Ooh. They think they're teaching him tricks. <laughs> <laughs> Little do they know they just have hungry wild animals. Nelly, <laughs> they're go jumping away. for their food. No, Nelly. No, Nelly can still fit under the garden gate, so she just annoys everybody everywhere you go. <laughs> she wants to be in on everything and eating everything and never gives anyone a moment of peace around here. <laughs> She's pretty funny. You're really good. Really good. Okay, you two. How are your raccoons doing? They're doing good. Miles is getting a lot nicer. Well, that's funny. Yeah. Getting nicer. Look at the different colors. I know, Nellie. Sorry about the sound effects for Nellie. She, I was going to say she's hungry, but she's got all the food she wants around here. What's wrong? You got a tick? Yeah, it was on Tara. Yep. It was by his eye. You get a lot of ticks. Oh, look at that. Going for that bottle. Okay, okay, you're, going, you're done. You're yeah. done. <laughs> I don't think he's done, Finn. <laughs> he thinks there's more. <laughs> Finn, dump the Is it deer empty, milk. Finn? Dump the deer milk in there. Oh, it's empty and he doesn't okay, want to quit. Okay, okay. Oh, let go. <laughs> <laughs> Honey. No, okay. Yeah, I if don't. you grab behind the neck, it'll kind of help him relax. Okay, okay. Now do a refill. Okay, I'll, I'll dump some more. I'll dump some more. Oh, he's gonna go attacking. Good, good, good. good. Oh, good. good. Yes, Man, I... they drain him quick now, guys. Remember when yeah. it took forever and they would choke? Hey, Miles, this is Tara's. Miles. Okay, but wait. Hey. Uh oh, Finn, you want me to help you? 
I think I got it. Good job. All right, it's gone. It's gone. Was oh, he gonna do the same thing? Probably. Hold on, drill fit. He thinks there's more. Mario! Let go. <laughs> Where'd the phone There you go. <laughs> Come on. Jump, jump. Um, where yeah. did the other bottle yeah. lid go? The oh, bottle lid? Mario! Oh, he took it! <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Oh, he's got it, Finn. Let me see. That's funny. He stole it and he ran away with it. Can you get it? No, here's, oh good. Thankfully he dropped it. That's okay, we can wash it off. This is where they get kind of vicious. <laughs> Oh, maybe now he doesn't want it as much as he thought he did. I don't know. I don't know if he wanted the other Here, one. Come here, girl. Nellie says she'll Whoa. take it. Oh, maybe. Oh, did he? Is he done? We're just kind of here, I have some. Okay. Don't squeeze it too much, honey, because maybe that was too fast. Look how Nelly, blonde go. his tail is compared go. to the other one. Is Nellie causing problems? Yeah. Trying to get everybody dirty. Oh, that's all right. We can wash off. Poor Nelly. She just wants some love and food and yeah, bottle. Yeah, mostly food. I don't know. <laughs> Good job, Miles. Oh, you looking wow. for your Oh, you're sitting. Good she thing. She wants Go a pee. bottle. That's why. Good thing. Can't eat my hand. I'm sorry. Hey. Finn, you could give Nelly some more bottle. Okay, gone. Let go. Let go. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> there he goes. Oh, they forgot. Get up. Oh, that's just what she wanted. Now she's happy. Oh, she's going to sit while she gets it. What a good girl. Spoiled pig. <laughs> she is a spoiled pig. Well, she's got just what got, she yeah, wanted, and that's why she keeps milk. bugging us. The other one's got sparkling water Kitty. and soda. So. There's no more milk in there. Oh, there's a tiny bit. That cat's no, trying to sit. figure out how to get it. Sit. Good job. Sit. Good job. She's doing good. good. Well, not yeah. <laughs> oh, you're trying to drip it on her mouth? That's funny. Guys, no. So last night I was doing chickens for Droopy, and I saw this red chicken way back in the coop, and I got in there to see if she'd move, and she is not going to move. She's pretty mad. So I think she might be laying on chicks. Well, trying to hatch it, chicks. So we're gonna go see how many she's laying on. Actually, why don't you see if there's any fresh eggs up in these kennels, and we'll give these fresh ones to her. Hopefully, get all her eggs on the same time frame. Okay. Oh, there's three. We need to put some more straw in these kennels so you can reach in there a little better. Okay, don't crack them. All right, let's go. Let's go down there, see how many she has, and tuck those under her. Okay. So here's our laying or setting hen. All the way up there. Oh, and there's a pig. Nellie getting in the chicken coop as usual. But she's up there. Finn's gonna crawl in there, see if she has any eggs. So Finn, why don't you set your eggs? Set your eggs down in here in a safe spot. Go check her first and we'll see what we're dealing with. Um, or just kind of reach, yeah, you can gently lift her off, or you can gently reach under her. She has five eggs. Five? Maybe we should just let her keep them then. We can give her three more. Let's just let her keep those. Okay. I don't want to mess things up. <laughs> Uh-oh. That's chicken versus Nelly, probably. Okay, let's go out of here. We'll see if she comes back in and sets on them again. Okay. And we'll just take those other three eggs in the house. All right. We live on a really long driveway, and it's not uncommon for us to see a bunch of wild deer each time we come down. But today we were going down our driveway, and there was one deer that didn't really move when we drove by. Well, Droopy thought it was one of his deer he had raised from last year, so he went out to try to look at it and see what it was, and it didn't move, and it came right up to him. Oh. 
That's the first time we've had a buck come back, right? This is one of my old deer I had last year. His name's Cream Cheese. This is the first time he's came around in a while. Sushi. Have we introduced Sushi yet? No. Nope. Sushi's just the cool outdoor cat that hangs out on the back deck. Hey, Sushi. He's really nice and he loves it when you hold him, but he sheds a lot. He's so sad. He's so cute. He's just hanging out. Yeah, Every time I come over here, he backs up. Sushi. What's wrong, Sushi? Oh, now he wants to see what you have. He's purring so loud I can hear him all the way over here. What are you eating? I don't know what he's eating. He a bug. Do they like each other? Yep, they always play with each other. Oh, they good. Always chase each other and. <laughs> They seem to like each other. <laughs> they don't seem to Whoa. like each other. Oops. Smacking them around. Nice. So Finn and I were running errands today and we went to Tractor Supply to get a new latch for the gate, the pasture gate, because of course the goats have figured out how to push the bottom out and escape. Um, but while we were at Tractor Supply, Finn had a great inspiration. Let's hear it, Finn. So I was walking by and I heard some like peeping and then I looked and there was baby chicks. And sometimes in the summer they'll sell them. So I looked at them and they were really cute. And so I told mom and we have a mom head up there that was laying on eggs. And we walked up there today and it just smelled like terrible. And we noticed mm -hmm. her eggs were rotten. So we're going to try to take her eggs away and put these the chicks under them and hopefully she'll accept them but we don't know yet we're hoping for the best see if our experiment works here's what we got four little peeps and they're supposed to be hens they're pullets finn do you remember what kind they are uh <laughs> something <laughs> dominique Oh yeah, Dominique. Which we've never had Dominique, but we looked them up and they look a lot like our barred rocks. And they're supposed to be good layers. Um, 
So we'll see what happens. You okay, Finn? Yep. All right, let's go up there and see what's going on. Okay. Okay, we're out here on our night mission to go put the baby chicks under the setting hen and a storm came rolling in, but oh well. Also, what are you gonna do, Finn? You have an extra job tonight. So I'm gonna let Croissant out so he's not just sitting in the rain all and he can find some more dry. So then that'll be safer probably for him. All right, we'll see how successful we are. All right, we've got step one success. We moved the setting hen into this coop before dark tonight, not knowing if she would stay on her eggs, um, but she did. We didn't want to leave her where she was. It wouldn't be a good place to have chicks. So open that gate, Finn, okay. and let me let me just peek in there. Can see your tail. Let's see if I can. Oh yeah, so she's right in there. Okay, close it up. We don't want to freak her out too much, any more than we already have. We're gonna go get the chicks and try to slip them under her. Okay, wait a minute. We got rejected. We we put the chicks in with this hen right here and we snuck them in nice and in the dark. And what'd she do, Finn? She started pecking at them because she probably thought they were trying to get her egg, so. Yeah, so she didn't want to have anything to do with those cute little chicks. So we went to plan C, I guess. And we put them in a... Uh, a kennel up behind the shop with another hen that's setting. So right now Finn's going to grab this hen and we're going to go put her down in the chicken coop so that the mother hen with a regular chick can have this to stay dry tonight. All right, go for it. Okay, and we're off. Come here, Croissant. Croissant doesn't know what to do. He's free. It's raining. He's wet. And Finn doesn't have a bottle. Okay, the kitten right there. Come here, buddy. I'll come visit the kittens. Maybe that'll make them feel better. Hey everyone, it's the next morning. Time for some pajama chores with mom and Finn. We wanted to sneak out here first thing and see how the hen is doing with those chicks and we're praying that it worked. Well, what do you think? Well, she's laying on them, so I think she might take them in. Let's see. Oh, there's one peeking out. Oh, I think it worked. She's got them all tucked under her. Nobody's left out. I think it worked. I see one right around the front of her. See him moving a little bit. There he is. Okay. Success so far. Step two, we've got to move her and her chicks down to that little chicken coop so that she can have some room with them, which means we need to let that, that hen and her little chick out free for the day. So we'll keep moving. great idea. Leave it to the kids. We've been trying to figure out what to do with this hen and her new chicks um, because 
the other hen and chick are already in there. And I know a lot of times if you mix hens and chicks, you're asking for a big problem. So Finn said, how about this area right here, the puppy area? Obviously it's not completely safe, but the hen won't fly out if her chicks are in here. And this wire is small enough to where the chick should be safe. We've got some straw under that uh, bottom half of a dog house. We thought that'd make a nice little cozy spot for the hen and her chicks. We've got another dog kennel they can go into if they need safety. And we've got the entrance blocked off. So we'll give it a shot. It's better than being completely free. Okay. So what's the plan here? Oh, okay, I'll grab her. You're gonna do your, your your shirt and put all four chicks in your shirt. Okay. She's not gonna like this. It's okay. There's the other one. I know. Oh, well, there's one. Okay. Okay, you grab, I got her. You grab the chicks. Can you get them? Yeah. One. It's okay, honey. Uh-oh. You're not going to be able to reach them. You want to trade jobs? You want to trade jobs, Finn? I don't think you can. Here. Hurry. Hurry. We're stressing her out. Got her? You sure? Okay. Not yet. Let her stay here. Okay. We'll show the camera how cute little chicks. Two. Ah. Ah. Oh, no. Stay here. No, oh. he's escaping. Three. Four. Okay, let's go. This makes us so happy. It worked. Now, if we can just keep them alive and safe in this kind of enclosure, we'll be doing good. But we're really happy right now. Look at her, take care of those little chicks. Well, here comes Naira. First problem, but she's sweet. She's just coming to check them out. We'll just see how this hen reacts. Come on, Naira, it's okay. You thought this was your area, but it's been taken over. Oh my, can you guess who's hungry? Oh, they saw Angus walk out. Look, everybody's running. They're all hungry. <laughs> Morning sounds at all creatures. Naira said, I'm out of there. She's taking the place over. Time for a project. What are we gonna do? Gonna brush willow. Brush willow. That's the brushes you use when it works the best. Yep, lots of brushes. We brought all of our tools. Uh, Willow's losing a lot of her summer coat. Um, she kind of looks like a sheep. It's just coming off in big clumps. So we're gonna go out there and help relieve her of all that extra fur, especially since it's been so hot. Hopefully she'll feel a lot better when we're done. So getting in the pasture is always a challenge. I'm gonna distract all the animals while Finn and Angus sneak in and then we'll flip flop. You guys ready? Okay, I'll distract these guys and you guys go slip in. Rigsby, Fern, come on, come on, here. Hopefully they'll think I have food. Come here. Willow, Fern, come on, come on, come on. Uh-oh. This may not work. They lost their moment. They weren't fast enough. Okay, come here, Fern. Come here, Fern. Come here. Nellie's stepping on Angus's feet. He's not real happy with her. We all made it in. Okay, now we're gonna put Willow on a leash 
Oh my goodness, this is a zoo. See if we can get her on a leash so she won't just keep escaping and we'll brush her out. You can tell they're all starved for attention. Hey, no, 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 don't let them do that. Bust them. Okay, so Willow is obviously the one with shedding huge clumps of hair. And I'll explain to you there's the main reason why in a minute. All right, so we're gonna go through our Great Pyrenees grooming tools. Lots of trial and error on these, but I'll show you our favorites. So these are actually sold as horse brushes from like a farm supply store. Um, but they work really well, well as far as getting out just all the extra hair that they've been shedding. Uh, they don't get out the mats. So hand me one of those other tools. Hey, get out of it. The goats are trying to eat the brushes, of course. These we love. They get out the mats. Um, like how Willow has those huge clumps of fur coming out. I'm guessing these will be what we like to use. Um, they kind of have a little bit of a blade in here so that if you have like a really bad mat, it'll slowly kind of cut the hair away rather than just pulling it out. So we'll, we'll, we'll try to tie her up. No, don't you mess with it. Hey. No, hey. come on, come on. I don't know if this is gonna work. Oh no. No, go oh, away. Go away. Ah. No! <laughs> hey, go. I don't think this is gonna work. We'll give it a shot. Okay. The reason, one of the reasons Willow is losing so much hair um, is a hormone thing. Um, they do typically blow a coat in the summer but Willow also was in heat a couple months ago, didn't get bred. That's a sad thing. We were supposed to have puppies a couple days ago. We had a feeling she wasn't pregnant. She just wasn't getting very big, but we were still hoping for maybe a really small litter, but no, nothing, nothing at all. So she definitely was not bred. She's losing all her hair. Good news is, where is she? Fern, Fern is in heat now. So that's good. That's why she is locked in the pasture so she can be with Rigsby and let's hope that she gets bred. We did have like four people waiting on puppies out of that last litter, so that was that was hard to have to tell them, sorry, we didn't have the puppies. So I'm hoping they'll hold on and be willing to wait. Um, they may or may not, but either way, we love having puppies. Believe it or not, some people that buy puppies from us, they want to put Great Pyrenees in the house. And, uh, and I'm always shocked. I think, are you sure you want to do that? But some people do it and the dogs are happy and they're happy. But I can't imagine the hair problems. Mm -hmm. If you had one of these dogs in your house, oh, that's... Other dogs aren't bad, but you get a lot. Oh. I feel better, Willow? She must be feeling better. What's your favorite thing about having puppies, Finn? Um, mainly because it's just fun to like if you talk that way so they can hear oh. you. Mainly because if you have nothing to do, you can just go up ah. and play with them, and like they'll attack oh. you, and then you have to run to get them to stop following you. That's true. Come here, with them. Do that. We can let her lay down, Angus. Look at that dumb goat sitting on that. We can let her Teddy. push her down and lay her down if you want. King Teddy. Uh, I might be easy if she's fit. I guess if she's content, we'll just keep brushing. There's, you can pretty much pick any spot on her body and brush, and you get a ton of hair off. So, Good girl. Back here is where they don't really like it, so I'll try to just do a little bit at a time. Good girl. Angus, what's your favorite part about puppies? Um, too muddy, I bet. No. Uh, Angus and Nash are the main puppy people in our family. They help out a ton with puppies. Probably. I think it's like the beginning fun. When they're tiny, when they're yeah, when they're so first born. I usually think they're kind of cute when they're like that. Most people like them when they're that little. Right. I like them when they're yep. When they look like little white rats. Yeah. Oh, wow. I like them a lot more when they're like 
cute and fluffy and like when they're almost like gone to me. Yeah. I don't know what this is, like a darker area. I think it's just dirt. Or maybe just stop because she's a cute. It's not, but hey, oh no! That would be the goat. Marilla. Thanks, Marilla. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Go get go Please. sit with Eddie. Gross. Okay. We've been going for about 15 minutes and I think we've pushed it to its limit with Willow. She's been patient, but she's about done. Look at all that hair. And Angus even got an injury. See your cool injury. And blood on his face. His face isn't hurt. I went like that. He cut his hand a little bit on that tool with a blade. And he's fine. But I'll show you Willow. She looks a lot better. Come here, Willow. So she looks a lot better now. Lots better. This is the jealous boy. Wants all the attention now since somebody else got brushed and he didn't. He's next on the list. Uh, a lot of people ask um, why you don't shave a Great Pyrenees in the summer. Um, and it's actually really cool. The way God designed their coat, it keeps them cool in the summer and warm in the winter. They have an undercoat layer and then they have their top coat. Um, and they do shed all of that typically once a year. But it's not a good idea to shave them. Um, it's just I guess it wouldn't hurt, but it's not necessary. They don't need it. Oh, sweat and dog hair in my face. And Rigsby being jealous. Well, it's been another good week. Uh, a lot less drama this week. That was kind of nice. Uh, Briar, what do you have to be thankful for this week? Well, thankfully, Gil got better from the greasy pig disease. So we're glad for that, for sure. Yeah, very much so. And then on another good note, uh, Angus's deer from last year came back, so that was pretty cool. Uh, we don't, well, we, we see typically one or two of them will stick around for a year or two, but um, I didn't expect cream cheese. So that was, that was kind of neat and very out of the blue too. It wasn't like he kept coming. He just like popped in. So I, I was surprised. So that was pretty cool. Uh, and then a joke. Since I had this, the great one last time, I'll tell another one. Why do you never rob a bank with a pig? Right. I don't know. Because they always squeal. Oh my goodness. So, good pig joke. <laughs> anyway, have a great week, and we'll look forward to uh, having you tune in again soon.